Hi, everybody. My name is Jeffrey Ryman, the coordinator of the Center for Excellence in Teaching. And this tutorial looks at how to take your Blackboard course, export it safely out of Blackboard, and import it into Brightspace so you can begin to prepare your course for further teaching. So right now, I have created two tabs in uh, Google Chrome. The first one is Blackboard, where I am signed in as Naomi Gross. Thank you, Naomi, for allowing me to do this. Uh, and I also am signed in to Brightspace. I recommend that you have both ready so you can pivot from one to the other easily. What I'm going to do is I'm selecting a course that I want to use. And this course uh, is ready to go. I am going down to Packages and Utilities and going to Export Archive. So let me be clear that when you export, it is not bringing any student content over. Whereas if you archive, it would. So definitely export. So I will click Export Package. And now I will select the options that are necessary. Now, in this particular case, the simplest way to do this without getting fancy is to select all and then unselect settings. I repeat, unselect settings. This particular area over here should not be checked off. Boy, that's sloppy looking, but you get the idea. So you may also want to uncheck announcements, for example, uh, or if you have any other particular items you do not want to bring. For example, Brightspace does not journal the same way Blackboard does, so you may choose to uncheck that only if you were using journals. So now that I have unchecked settings, I'm ready to submit. And because I already have uh, exported, I am ready to move on to Brightspace. So you will probably have to wait up to 15 or 20 minutes, depending on your course size, to see this link show up. Once you click on it, it will automatically download it to your Downloads folder. To prove that, here is my Downloads folder, and here is the export. The export typically will not have the name of the course, it will have the course code. So, with that said, I'm going to go over to Brightspace, and I'm going to select my destination course. And in that case, it is my sandbox, which probably will be the case for you as well. Now, when I go into the sandbox, by default, you can see that it's empty. There's nothing here. And that's important to take a look just in case you have things you uh, did not want to lose. Now I'm going to go to Course Tools, bearing in mind that my role may display certain options not available to everybody. The instructions nonetheless are correct. So when I click on Course Tools, everybody has Course Admin as an option. And when I go to Course administration it is right here import export copy so i'm going to click on that and now i am going to go down to the bottom of the page and select import components it's that simple so once i've done that and that's all you have to do there's no fancy multiple stage efforts here just go to Import, Export, choose Import Components. And then when you click Start, I then have the opportunity to upload my file. So I go right to Downloads, choose it, and bring it in. I verify that this is what I want by looking at the file name. I want to point out that there is a limit of 2 gigabytes. And frankly, the only time I see courses that are bigger than two gigabytes is when you have uploaded a lot of video into your course. This is not a best practice. 
and it is something that we can discuss ways you can prepare your course. Two gigabytes will take a very long time. This course is 199 megabytes, so it should be fairly easy. Now there are advanced options if they will open. And I guess right now they're not available, so that's fine. We'll just import what we have. Okay, and we're back. The import process takes a little while, so I would recommend that's a great time to make a cup of coffee or tea uh, or walk your dog. Now that we're back, it tells us that the course package was successfully imported. If I click view content, it will allow me to um, actually go directly into the course. If I wanted to import another package, and this is important, it would not overwrite what is already there. Instead, it would add to it. So if you accidentally imported your course more than once, it would be in there twice. And your only recourse would be to reach out to uh, one of the team, uh, meaning Antonia, Tammy, or myself, uh, to clear the course so you could try it again. There's also an option to review and manage dates. And I have not actually used this yet, but I'm looking at the actual due dates here and I see that the actual um, start dates did not come through. And so what I'm going to recommend is that you can play with this at your own pleasure, but I am going to instead just simply go back and um, go directly to my course home. Now when I go to course home, what I'm looking at is course information and content. These are the two areas that are represented from the original course. So if I click on course information, for example, it opens up a table of contents where I can see everything that was in that particular area. Now, this is where you would actually add content. But first, I just recommend that you become familiar with how your course has come through in the first place. So here is a welcome that if I open it up, I can immediately preview and see what's going on. And just like in Blackboard, we have a um, breadcrumb trail so I can go back to the table of contents or to course information at any time. Alternatively, I can just click the next button and continue on to whatever the next thing is. Or I can go back by using my tabs and um, and then once again use the breadcrumb trail and record re go, re return to the table of contents. You'll also see that with each element you can make it visible or invisible and you can also add dates and restrictions. So these are things that before you start changing things, become familiar with what has arrived here. Furthermore, if I go back to the table of contents, I can also go to content. Now I can see almost everything you do in, in Brightspace, you can do two different ways. This is the table of contents for the entire semester here. You'll see week one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And there's a Dropbox that's open already, allowing a student to upload a file and put it in. So I think that you just need to take time and go through this. When in doubt, and if you get lost, just click Course Home and it will take you right back to the initial, um, uh, you know, layout that you're accustomed to seeing here. So course information you're familiar with and content you're familiar with. Now you also can go in directly to content by going to the top, or you can go directly to assignments, or you can go directly to discussions if there are discussions in that particular course. Now, the navigation is left 
this way for now during the pilot period and we'll be anxious to get your feedback. But for now, what I recommend that you do is simply explore your course in the new environment and get familiar with what is there before you start exploring and experimenting. And so for now, I would say that this course has been successfully uh, imported into Brightspace and now the fun comes to figure it out. One final word is whatever you have heard in the past about the way Blackboard courses are importing, it is old information. And by that I mean Brightspace is constantly improving the way courses are imported. And so while there were problems with quizzes, for example, some time ago, those problems seem to have been resolved. So for now, until the next tutorial, I'm going to say thank you for paying attention, and I hope this was helpful.